But first, leading our newscast tonight, after an extended impasse between parties, the Fairbanks School Board and the Fairbanks Education Association have reached a tentative agreement regarding a teacher's negotiated agreement. The contract had expired last June. Both the board and FEA have been negotiating the new contract since last March. The agreement includes salary increases spread over a three-year period, as well as changes and reductions in employee health insurance, among other modifications. Fairbanks School Board member Leslie Hydukovich called the tentative agreement a win-win for all involved and further says hopefully the board, district, and FEA can now move forward. And in a press release, FEA President Steve LaRoe said he was, quote, pleased to reach a settlement with the board, which provides benefits for both parties and a desire to reach and attract quality teachers to Fairbanks. Police in a grand job. The Fairbanks Education Association and the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District may have finally concluded months of negotiation over teachers' contracts. A tentative agreement was reached between the two groups in a session on Saturday, which still has to be ratified by both the FEA and the school board. The school district was concerned about raising the pay for teachers' salaries, but according to Labor Relations Director Gail Pierce, the district is satisfied with the final outcome and will most likely ratify the agreement in their meeting on Friday. The school board was concerned about the entry-level salaries for teachers and raising that entry-level pay above $40,000. And so in the new contract, the entry-level pay will be $41,110, and that's a very good increase. It's a very competitive salary, and the salaries of the other, um, all the other teachers um, also increase. And um, so I think the school board accomplished its objectives. Up to this point, the members seem pleased um, for, for two reasons. One, uh, because of the settlement for the, for the pay. And second, the uh, health care. And third, the language changes which benefit them. Last